Now this is an Airbus A320 and something that's great about the Airbuses is the way that they're being flown. Of course, you have the beautiful joystick. Unlike a Boeing, this joystick is literally no much different than this joystick. It has sensors in them and a connection cable that goes to the Airbus computer, the fly-by-wire system. This computer has a lot of authority on this plane. For example, while flying, when the pilot says, hey, I want to make a, you know, aileron roll or turn this airplane around, the Airbus won't let the pilot do that. As you can see, we cannot bank any further than the maximum of 45 degrees. As you can see, we've already reached that. Because the computer that's wired up to the joystick decides, no, we shall not let you do this. Fly-by-wire, a usual 737 would let you maybe bank angle the plane were more than this. Now this system has been around forever and it works amazingly. Airbuses fly beautifully, though sometimes it can cause issues, for example, because of intense solar, do you remember this thing? You know, a few weeks ago, the intense solar radiation potentially corrupting the data in this flight control computer, causing uncommanded pitch downs, where the computer would just say, hey, let's pitch down for no reason. But everybody, did you know that in 2001, something very interesting happened? Yes, let's imagine this. It's the the March of 2001 and you're on board a Lufthansa plane. Definitely with the old livery though, on your way to Paris Shell de Gaulle. We are at Frankfurt Airport right now. The plane has just come out of service and aircraft maintenance we trust a lot because they can mess up a lot of things engines falling off on like a DC-10 because people ran into it with a forklift. And here, the boys over at Lufthansa Technic, which are uh, right there, the maintenance crew, messed up something very interesting. As I told you, the Airbus side stick is very easy. And when you're installing in a new one or reinstalling it, you can mess something up. And that's what happened. They messed up the roll axis of the joystick. Meaning that when the captain wanted to bank the plane to the right, the plane wanted a turn to the left. And this is what that would have looked like. See, on this A320 right here, we can see where the joystick points. Now I'm putting it to the right, but as you can see, the control leads to the left. And this nearly caused a crash. Let's go ahead and take off and see what happens if we fly like that. Inverted controls, ladies and gentlemen. We are going full power. In real life, the pilots didn't notice anything. And that's kind of the issue, of course. Normally, you're supposed to be able to see. Wait, I'm turning right why is this thing turning left and that's what's happening right now let's go ahead and take off and see what happens we're kind of off center of the runway let's go ahead and just uh, take off like this and oh wait oh i want to turn right that the plane turns left and this is actually this is oh my god this is actually pretty this is pretty bad this is one of the trippiest things i've ever done whoa i'm turning Oh! yeah actually in real life this caused a near crash yes indeed the takeoff resulted in a loss of control and subsequent near-terrain impact. And interestingly, what we just had was how what happened in real life. When the airplane lifted off, it had a left bank angle. The captain tried to correct this bank angle by giving in a slight input on the left side stick which would only increase the bank angle even more. Of course, that's natural. You want to counteract how your plane's going. I want to turn left. It's not really helping us. That is very interesting. Now, luckily, the plane wasn't necessarily broken. It was just the wiring down here. The autopilot still worked, and what especially still worked as well was the first officer's controls. So no trouble about that. The plane ended up landing safely. Everyone was fine. The maintenance crew probably was killed, though. So one fatality in this incident. What am I saying? Now, how exactly did this happen back then? See, I was kind of lying to you. The Airbus joystick, obviously, is not a USB stick that they stick into, like, the computer that runs an RTX 4080 of Airbus. No, there's multiple pins and when they re-plug the Airbus joystick, they inverted the rolling axis, which is actually hilarious. It's interesting how quickly that can happen. And I got, I got to say, this is a bit avoidable by the crew as well. When you do the flight control checks, they should have realized that, wait, we're pointing the plane to the right. Why is the left speed brakes coming out then? So I mean, the whole idea of flight controls to maybe check if they're even moving at all. I think it's important also to check direction. Everybody, what if the ground crew even messed up more? Let's also mess up 
all the wiring so that when we pull up, the plane pushes down. <laughs> Let's take off. Now this would be uh, this would be bad. This this would be bad. Like yeah, like, look at this. So we're taking off. Not only is oh that is not good look. Not only is that inverted, but everything is really messed up and inverted. Let's see what how that turns out. So we're like at 130 knots now, and I want to pull up. And this happens, the plane doesn't. And then you're like, wait, what the hell's going on? That's deadly. Maybe you would look down on the screen at this point and you would wonder, wait, what the hell's going on? There's just no way of taking off the plane whatsoever. Of course not. In fact, the nose is gonna push down. So we need to be really careful and push it. Oh, wow, this is very counterintuitive. And especially this. Wait, I wanted to go like this. So we have to turn up like, we have to do this. Did I, just have a, did I just have a weird wing strike? I'm not really sure. This airplane flies really, really messy now. You would definitely want... Whoa! You would definitely want to fly using the autopilot. I wonder, though, can we come in for a landing? Okay, so here we are coming in. I don't want to go to... The, I want to go this way. And to go down, we have to really go... Okay, this is... This is... This is so hard. But once... I mean, now, our advantage is that we know what's going on. Can you imagine how hard this plane would be to fly without knowing what's going on? All right, so, I want to get the nose down, so I'm going to pull up. Okay. I like that. Oh, no. All good. All good. All good. Shut up. I was actually trying to make a genuinely smooth landing, so this is all fine. Too high. Don't worry. So, I'm going to push the nose down, which is a slightly confusing concept, but this is perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think we're looking good. We're looking perfect. We don't fine. Okay, that was a really hard landing. Oh, no, I don't want to push. No. Whoa! Oh! Sorry. 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 Oh, wow, this is genuinely hard to pull off. Alright. Okay, there we go. I'm sorry we definitely messed up the poor little A320 right there. But everybody, I feel like there's one more way of messing this up even further. How about we connect the roll axis to the pitch axis and the pitch, you know, make it all go wrong. So now that when I try to pull up, the plane pushes to the right, pushing that, yes. So you, should we take off by putting our plane to the left? That is a wonderful idea. All right, all fine. Let's go. Take off. Full power. Okay, so what I would do, obviously, in this situation as a pilot, I would push up, but that... Oh, no. It rather engages the... <laughs> all right. All fine. All fine. All fine. Wait, let's try to fly the plane properly. Okay, so 130 knots on that. Let's pull up, which does this. Pushes the plane to the left. Doesn't work. And then this doesn't work, so you need to, you need to take off like this, I think. How do I fix this? How, how do I make this plane fly? Oh my god. This is genuinely hard. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have, no, I have genuinely no idea what I'm doing. I, I don't know. What am I supposed to do? So turning right pushes the nose down. Pushing up pushes the... Yes. There we go. Now we're back on track. I think... I've completely lost all complete control of the airplane. This could be a little bit deadly. All right, so let's go ahead and land. Um, in order to do that, we now know what's going on. We need to push our plane to the right. Yes, yeah, something like that. Oh my god, we need to reduce her power. All good. Okay, and so let's actually try to do a normal landing. We're good on track. All is fine. So once again, pushing the nose to the right puts our plane down. That's trippy. And then I want to go left. Uh oh, I think I've already messed up. Okay, all good, all good. I think I'm, I've gotten used to it. I've gotten used to it. Shut up. We're not even too high. We're totally perfect. I just want. All good, all good, all good. We can try again. Wait, why do we need to? I've lost it. I've lost it. How do I fly this? Oh my god, I don't know how to fly this at all. So like this way, or this way. All this way is good. Okay. And then this way is good. Okay, we're crashing. Maybe we can, like, stop on the tax. Oh, God, it's now going full power. Stop the plane now. All is... You're good. You're... This is not good at all. All right. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Just a little bit of a quick taxi. No trouble at all. We're just going to stop here without any worries. Um, yeah, that was a complete crash. Oh. So, buddy, what did we learn? Plane maintenance, they have huge responsibility. And also, planes are just computers after all. Wrong pin, bad story. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, That Dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishititsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New The York. You've got beautiful names.